So unfortunately, in the past few months, we've seen quite a few airlines that have gone bust. There are many factors which influence the future of an airline, but the main factor that influences all is the price of fuel. We know that fuel is gold dust to the carriers and it takes up a big chunk of their operating cost. And airlines have many procedures put in place to manage the fluctuation of fuel such as hedging. If you do it right, then you can assume that your short term future is relatively secure because you have some control of an external factor. Now an airline which may be on the brink of collapse is a small regional carrier in the UK called Flybe. They have their main hub at Manchester and Birmingham International Airport and you can consider the airline as a serious contender within the UK because they carry in the region of 10 million passengers a year which is pretty impressive. But unfortunately, it's not looking too good for them either. In the recent weeks, the airline has issued a warning that their profits will be considerably cut and due to this, their share price has also taken a significant hit. Now almost 40% of the company's value has decreased. Their share price normally hovers in the region of 40 pence or so but due to lower demand and significant cuts to their operating revenue, their share price is now hovering around 19 pence. Now if you're an investor, then this could be your chance to buy some awesome shares, but I would advise to wait it out before doing anything. Now the airline is expecting to make a further loss when going into next year. But this is kind of weird, because after studying their numbers on an investing website, some of their popular routes have significantly increased their revenue per C by as much as 6.8% in the second quarter, meaning that majority of their planes were filled to the brim, but after looking at it more closely, it's essentially putting all your eggs in one basket and that's exactly what they find themselves in. But as I mentioned earlier, the airline has been suffering due to higher fuel prices and also the decrease in value of the British pound. Flybe have said themselves that due to these factors, their operating costs would add a further £29 million year on year, while their margin of profits gets smaller and smaller. Now we know that the summer period is a haven for airlines to make a good amount of money, and you have to put all of your efforts and resources in trying to execute it efficiently. However, we're now in autumn and winter, and these periods are very quiet for airlines and don't make much money. They said that they're going to review their capacity of leased aircraft and also implement various cost saving measures to save them through this dark period. But that doesn't mean to say that the airline is destined for closure. They're struggling really badly but they do have potential to do a turnaround if they implement new commercial systems and also bring their costs under control with cheaper aircraft leases. So all in all guys, their future is relatively secure for the short term. If you don't prepare yourself for the headwinds of the industry, then it will definitely take you off your feet and that's what we're seeing here. They're expecting to release their financial results on the 14th of November and if you're an investor, then this could be a time to evaluate your decision. Nevertheless, it'll give us a deeper insight into their problems and study exactly what's going on with Flybe. So guys, that's all there is for me at this moment in time. If you have further information or opinions to add, then by all means share it with us in the comments below and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.